For those who missed getting to fly around town on bird scooters, they're finally back in Bozeman, but with special rules this time. Have you ever rode on a bird scooter? I, I have, yeah, I have. Cool. Mm -hmm. Do you like them? They're a, a really fun way to get around if, if you uh, are comfortable uh, riding them. You can soar along the streets of Bozeman as fast as you want now that bird scooters are back. But Bozeman's Director of Transportation and Engineering, Nick Ross, says there are plenty of things you shouldn't do while riding the popular electric scooters. Uh, we're mostly concerned about them being parked on sidewalks uh, and along curb ramps. Uh, really all the, uh, the manners in which they can block accessibility. Last year, Ross says they heard many complaints from folks in town about riders leaving scooters on their property and in front of their homes. That's why the city has created new policies. Some of the main policy changes that are going to actually be with how uh, making it easier for folks to contact Bird for service. Bird operates the scooters in town. Uh, they rebalance them. They fix parking issues. Bird's contact info is now listed on the city's website, making it easier for folks to have a scooter removed from an inconvenient spot. And if the city is ever forced to take action removing a scooter, uh, we can also charge the company uh, for that time. Corrals on city street corners have helped encouraging folks to park in specific areas, but Ross says it hasn't completely solved the issue. That's why they've enforced another new rule, where riders have to take a picture of their scooter where it's parked after a ride. Ross says even though new rules are being enforced, they can't guarantee a world where electric scooters and Bozemanites live in perfect harmony. Um, but we do think that these policies will help. More information on policy plans for scooters now and in the future can be found on our website. In Bozeman, Jolie Salee, MTN News.